10th place, Jeff Martin. Out onto the grid, the competitors for the first Sidecar Stars race of the day. A 15 lapper and the lineup very impressive. Number eight, that was Mick Bodice and Rob Biggs. Number four, Ian Bell, Neil Carpenter. One is Tom Hanks with Mark Lambert stepping in to replace the injured Steve Wilson. Number five, Jeff Bell and Graham Biggs. Mick Bodice in pole position, Ian Bell's second fastest, despite uh, missing Saturday's practice sessions because of work commitments and completing the front row of the grid, the reigning British Formula 2 sidecar champion Tom Hanks with standing passenger Mark Lambert. Row 2, number 2 there, Gary Horsball with Kevin Lee and Alan Schofield, the former Darley champion with Ian Simon in the chair. Clark of the course, Alan Wilson, brings them under starter's orders. The cream of British Formula 2 sidecar racing on the grid, last year's champion Greg Lambert with Ivan Murray in the chair back in ninth place after qualifying. 14 outfits ready to do battle and off they go. The charge to the first chicane. Who is it who's going to break clear first? Getting through that first little left-right kink is all also important. Down the hill they come and it's Ian Bell, the man who missed Saturday's practice, out in front. And Schofield going through on the inside, passes Tom Hanks to take second place. Up there too, Gary Horsball, Brian Pedder, Jeff Bell, Greg Lambert, Roger Stockton, Roy Hanks, and in last place was number 11, Dave Calvert. Into the hairpin for the first time. Still Ian Bell out in front. Bell with Neil Carpenter in the chair. Big smokes as some of the outfits just leave the braking really, really late. And the charge is on around the hairpin. Out of the hairpin, down the back straight. It is number four, Ian Bell, the race leader. 36, Alan Schofield. And it looks as though Tom Hanks is going to lose another place because Mick Bodice is level with him. Can't do it this time, though. Has to drop back into line astern. Round Paddock for the first time. Four outfits all together at the front of the field. Ian Bell setting the pace. Alan Schofield, he knows his way round Derby very well indeed. And Tom Hanks are holding off Mick Bodice. A little bit further back, it's number two, Gary Horsepole. Oh, and again, the outfit breaks lock up. They may be at the tail end of the field, but boy, are they trying hard. Still Ian Bell, still Schofield, Alan Schofield, number 36, in second place. Round the hairpin, this is the halfway stage. And Gary Horsepole getting closer and closer now to Mick Bodice. Ian Bell keeping well to his left down that long back straight. Alan Schofield trying to hold the line. Here comes Tom Hanks, he's on the inside. Has he regained the place? He has. And very well done indeed. Standing passenger, of course, and that's going to make life more difficult for number one, Tom Hanks. He's the man who retained his British Formula 2 title this year. So Ian Bell, look at that, stretching an advantage, not very big, but comfortable by the standards of the Sidecar Stars competition. And uh, further back, we have outfit number 12, Brian Pedder and Mark Adams. He's a Daly regular as well. Ian Bell charges up to the hairpin. Absolutely storming round. Ian Bell owns a motorcycle shop. Tom Hanks then, Alan Schofield. And I think uh, Gary Horsepole lost a little bit of ground there. Number five, that's Jeff Bell, brother of Ian Bell. And out of the slipstream comes Mick Bodice. He's going to try and get past Alan Schofield. Oh, and uh, they made contacts. A bit of fairing bashing there. Neither driver will bother about that just one little bit. Ian Bell still out in front and they are all over the track looking for an advantage. Over the grass they go, over the kerb. It's Bell the leader, then Tom Hanks, then Mick Bodice, then Alan Schofield, now under pressure from Gary Horsepole. Then is number 12, Brian Pedder. He's got Mark Adams in the chair, and behind him is number 5, Jeff Bell, with Graham Biggs, the passenger. Back with the race leader, back at the hairpin. Bell, and Tom Hanks is getting closer, then it's Bodice, Schofield, Horsepole right behind. Then that little battle that's uh, raging between Brian Pedder and Jeff Bell. Now here comes Tom Hanks. Is Ian Bell going to lose the lead? He has indeed. And again, look at that. Bell going for the inside. Wanted to come straight back at uh, the reigning British champion. Couldn't do it. Drifts the outfit. Three-wheel drift round Paddock Corner. But it's a new race leader. Tom Hanks with the standing passenger. And if Mark Lambert thought it was going to be a pleasant Sunday afternoon drive round Derbyshire, it wasn't quite what Tom Hanks had in mind when he offered him the chance. Hanks out in front.
then it's Ian Bell in second place, but Bell very close indeed, this race is not over yet, I'm sure of that. And uh, Alan Schofield in fifth place, dropping back a little bit, must be having some sort of mechanical problems, I suspect. And there's number seven, Roy Hanks. Oh, what a good battle here, 16, Roger Stockton and 19, Tony Baker. They're battling at the edge of the top ten. Down the back straight they come. Number one, Tom Hanks out in front. Number four, Ian Bell. Number eight, Mick Bodish. Number two, Gary Hulspohl. And all of those four drivers, I'm sure, are convinced they can win this one. Over the kerb, the outfit wheel just being lifted up to avoid damage. Hanks. Here's Bodish on the inside. Is he going to put Bell back one? He is, but he makes a mess coming out of the corner and Ian Bell was ready for that and here comes the battle for the lead and it looks as though uh, Ian Bell has suddenly got a new lease of life right underneath the race leader Tom Hanks closes right on him good scrap still going on there fifth still is Alan Schofield then it's number 12 Brian Pedder Mark Adams in the chair and behind him Jeff Bell and his passenger Graham Biggs down towards Paddock Mick Bodice out of the slipstream he would like to get back above for Ian Bell if he can but Bell I believe thinks he can get past the race leader and win and they've got one lap to sort out this four rider battle and Tom Hanks leaves but Ian Bell pulls out of the slipstream so too does Mick Bodice and it's Ian Bell and Bodice Bell is first and Bodice once again makes a mess coming out of that uh, park corner and he goes back from second to fourth Ian Bell, though, is a man out in front, and he's taken off like a scolded cat. Ian Bell out in front, Neil Carpenter in the chair, and it looks as though they've got this one under control. Bodies will be furious. He could and should have been second, maybe could have won it, but he blew it, and he's going to finish fourth at best. Here comes Ian Bell, Paddock corner to go, Tom Hanks behind him, Gary Horsbolt in third place. Been a good drive from him. And there goes Ian Bell, checkered flag time. What a great, great performance. A good win for Ian Bell and Neil Carpenter. But the result close enough to make race two to come later. A tempting prospect. Well, confirmation of the result. Bell and Carpenter the winner. Hanks and Lambert second. Horsepole and Lee taking third place. Big bodies after that big mistake. Finishing back in fourth spot. Then the Schofield, Pedar. Bell, that's uh, Jeff Bell, Ian's brother, then it's uh, Roy Hanks, Baker and Stockton completing the top ten.